Hi Year 4, today in maths we're going to be representing tenths as decimals. So let's have a look at this diagram first of all because we have done lots of practice on fractions in the past and this diagram shows us all the different ways that we can represent one tenth. So in the middle we have our fraction. As you know the numerator represents how many parts there are and then the denominator represents how many parts there are all together. And then we can see at the top there are a couple of diagrams that represent one tenth, one part being shaded out of ten parts altogether. We can represent one tenth as pictures as well. So here we've got ten fish and one fish has been shaded and we can also show one tenth on a number line here. So between zero and one we have ten intervals and each of those intervals represents one tenth. OK, so in between whole numbers, we can have intervals which show part of a whole. And then finally, you can see that we have a decimal. And we would read that decimal as 0 0.1, which is the same as one tenth. Let's have a look at this fraction here. So I have represented a fraction as a diagram. So let's have a look at how many parts are shaded. So we've got one, two, three, four. So we have five parts which are shaded out of how many parts all together? You count. That's right, it's 10 parts. OK, so we have five parts shaded out of 10 parts all together. So we could write that as a fraction, which would be five tenths. OK, but what we want to do today is we want to represent our fraction or our tenth um, as a decimal. So if we have a look down here, you can see that we have our fractions, our parts of a whole, and here is five tenths. And then at the bottom, this is how we would represent five tenths as a decimal. So I can record that onto my place value chart here. I can put that there's zero ones but there is five tens, okay? So we would say that five tenths as a decimal is 0 0.5. Now today you have a White Rose Maths teaching video to help you recognise tenths as decimals. And that video coincides brilliantly with your workbook for today. So this is the link to get you to the video, but it's also on your home learning booklet as well. So if you've got this open up um, on your laptop or tablet or whatever, um, you can simply click that link and it will take you to the video. Just here. OK, and then once you finish watching that video, then your workbook is in the year four home learning folder where you will be representing temps as fractions and decimals. So good luck. If you do need any help, feel free to email me. Have a lovely day and I will see you in tomorrow's English video.